This video is provided to introduce you to the latest computerized diagnostic tool from STG, the Tech 2. By viewing and performing the procedure shown in this video, you'll complete an excellent introduction to the Tech 2 before you're faced with using it to address the service needs of your valued customers. Before we begin, realize that the Tech 2 does not come loaded with diagnostic software. We'll cover software loading using a TechLine terminal and the latest CD-ROM in a few minutes. But first, Let's review what the Tech 2 offers and the best way for you to get off to the right start. If you can use a Tech 1, you can use a Tech 2. The Tech 2 was necessary to handle communication with the newer, faster PCMs using Class 2 data for OBD2 and other high-powered advancements in automotive technology. Specifically, the Tech 2 offers these enhancements over the Tech 1. The Tech 2 is more powerful than the Tech 1. The Tech 2 has more memory to offer two snapshots instead of one. Its bigger screen offers more visible parameters and graph plotting capability. The Tech 2 also has more flexibility using soft keys for time-saving shortcuts. Let's look at these and the other features in order to help you make the most of them. Furthermore, Feel free to stop this video at any time to try out what you see on the Tech 2. First of all, the Tech 2 should be easier on your eyes. Not only is the screen larger, it also allows for contrast adjustment. Furthermore, you can use the tilt stand to enhance the viewing angle. The keypad has also been improved. Notice the familiar as well as newer keys. There are two control keys, power and shift. Both have lights to verify engagement. And while the Tech 2 has the same function keys you know from the Tech 1, F0 through F9, you're encouraged to use the new selection keys. Ergonomically designed, the Tech 2 keypad lets you use your thumb to push the arrow keys to move through selections on the screen. When you highlight the desired selection, merely push the Enter key. Right near the arrow keys, there are Enter, Exit, Yes, and No keys for thumb action as well. There are also enter and exit keys near the F function keys, just like on the Tech 1. The four soft keys allow for special functions. Typically, the more soft key, when displayed, is used to view additional soft key functions. Experience with the Tech 2 will prove the value of these soft keys and the shortcuts they offer. The question mark key is for help on how to navigate with the Tech 2. The Tech 2 cable accommodates the included DLC connectors for either OBD1 or OBD2 vehicles. And to accommodate individual comfort, the Tech 2's handle straps are adjustable. A hinged door at the top of the Tech 2 opens for access to the PCMCIA card. PCMCIA stands for Personal Computer Memory Card Industry Association. The industry standard PCMCIA card replaces the mass storage cartridge on the Tech 1. It is far more powerful with greater memory, 10 meg versus 1 meg. The PCMCIA card is positioned in the number 0 slot, the one closest to the screen. The slots button is used to eject the card. To install the PCMCIA card, push it in gently. The PCMCIA card will fit into the number 1 slot but don't put it there, as the Tech 2 will not function. This slot, closest to the back, is for future enhancements, such as a miniature hard drive for even greater data storage. Another important Tech 2 component is the Vehicle Communications Interface, or VCI module. The VCI module is similar to the Tech 1's VIM and is used to interpret vehicle communications. Vehicle technology forced the creation of the Tech 2, in the future, the Tech 2 can be updated with a new VCI module, rather than requiring the creation of an entirely new tool. The VCI module is integrated into the tool and located at the bottom of the Tech 2. The power jack can plug into the DLC cable or the Tech 2. Vehicle communication requires that the power jack must be connected to the DLC cable for proper grounding. So it's a good habit to always use the DLC cable jack for power. With the power supply connected, turn on the Tech 2 using the power button. Realize that every time the Tech 2 is powered up, 
a thorough self-diagnostic routine is completed to verify the tool is ready for use. Also, if a condition occurs while the Tech 2 is in use, diagnostic routines are available. Perhaps the most important thing to accomplish before using the Tech 2 on an actual customer vehicle is the programmed in Getting Started tutorial. Merely select Getting Started from the main menu. You'll find these options, Tool Controls, Hardware, Tech 2 Features, and Programming the Tech 2. While you should review all the information, let's concentrate on Tech 2 Features. This tutorial is strongly recommended to aid you in understanding the advancements of the Tech 2 and how they can be used. Within the Tech 2 Features submenu, you can view and manipulate the data parameters of a fictitious vehicle. Under DTCs, you can view the fictitious vehicle's DTC information, freeze frame failure records, and clear the sample DTCs. Data display shows the fictitious vehicle's data parameters. Here, it's good to practice locking in parameters while continuing to scroll through others. To scroll, merely hold down the down arrow key. There are several points to be made in data display. First of all, notice that when a highlighted parameter's description words are cut off, the full description is available at the bottom of the screen. To go an entire page forward or backward, use the arrow keys. The left arrow takes you back a page, and the right arrow moves you a page forward. Data display also features several important soft keys. DTC takes you right into viewing related DTCs. The Data Capture soft key lets you take a snapshot while still in data display. Using the More key selects additional soft keys. The Previous List and Next List do exactly as the names say. They let you go from one data list to another. Within the tutorial for special functions, a sample MIL test lets you command the light on and off using the assigned soft keys. For snapshots, the fictitious data parameters can be recorded and replayed. In a few minutes, we'll take an actual vehicle snapshot and review the data. The Tech 2 does not come with diagnostic software. Tech 2 software must be loaded from the latest TechLine CD-ROM before attempting a vehicle interface. From the Information menu on the TechLine terminal, select Terminal Menu. Then, select Tech 2 Update to begin the process. To display the setup instructions, select Page Forward. Communication uses an RS-232 connection between the Tech 2 and the TechLine terminal. However, the Tech 2's RS-232 connection requires a serial data port adapter on terminals built without one, or on a T100, you'll need the DLC to DLC adapter, just as was necessary with the Tech 1. Also, use the included external power supply when interfacing with any Tech Line terminal. Once the Tech 2 identification appears on the tool's screen, follow the terminal instructions to complete the software programming. It's important to note that once the appropriate software version is selected, you must select Enter and then Done to be asked if the loading can continue. For vehicle hookup, always remember that power and ground must come through the DLC cable to ensure the highest quality data transmission. On non-OBD2 vehicles, be sure to connect the cigar lighter or battery adapter through the jack on the cable adapter. Also note that the Tech 2 can handle a vehicle voltage as high as 20 volts. Minimum system voltage is 8 volts. To establish vehicle communications, follow the screen instructions which are similar to the Tech 1. As was mentioned earlier, use your thumb to highlight selections and press Enter to make selections. It's important to study the screens. They can change from application to application because of the wide range of functions available with the Tech 2. When viewing data, you'll notice several advantages. 
The Tech 2 offers more lines of parameters compared to Tech 1. And you can lock in up to five parameters and still scroll through four others. To lock in parameters, use the Select soft key to establish a list of available parameters. By highlighting a parameter and pressing Enter, it will receive an asterisk to indicate it's been locked in. After exiting back to Data Display, you'll see that up to five parameters can be locked and are listed at the top of the screen. To unlock a parameter, merely select it a second time. Many times, the soft keys will let you go to another function without backing out of the current one. This is particularly handy when searching for information on a vehicle condition. Of special interest is using the dual snapshot functions. This is a great feature for any cold hot comparison or when comparing a bad vehicle with a known good vehicle. In snapshot replay, there is a wide selection of soft keys to help you save time. By pressing more, you can go directly to auto reverse and auto forward to view the snapshot frames one after another in succession. By hitting the more key again, you can go directly to the first frame or last frame. And by hitting the more key yet again, you come to previous frame and next frame, which will allow you to move the snapshot display one frame at a time. Here's a known good vehicle road test example where the customer states there's hesitation on acceleration. The system check and a visual inspection identify nothing, but you suspect the map sensor, throttle position sensor, or the crank position sensor based on previous experience. A vehicle road test with the Tech 2 to recreate the condition is a good idea. With the Tech 2 set up for manual trigger center point, a snapshot is taken when the hesitation is noticed. Then, the second snapshot can be used to record engine parameters on the other known good vehicle under the same exact speed and road conditions. In the first snapshot, TP and engine speed seem to increase smoothly. However, the map shows a fluctuation. Comparing that to snapshot number two on the known good vehicle, we see that all three sensor signals increase smoothly. While in snapshot, you have the option to plot data on a graph. Select Plot, then select the items to be plotted. After the selections, press Exit to continue plotting. Using the Tech 2 for SPS, as well as all its important functions, are thoroughly covered in the One Day Tech 2 class, number 16018.15, available at your local GM training center. The Tech 2 is the latest computerized diagnostic tool from STG. Just remember, if you can use a Tech 1, you can use a Tech 2. The Tech 2 becomes an essential tool with a 1997 model year, since the Tech 1 will not be able to perform vehicle protocol communications on these 1997 and future models. The Tech 2 is truly the diagnostic tool for tomorrow, but it's ready for you today.